Rita Ora has told how her wedding to Hollywood director Taika Waititi was planned in just a matter of days as she gave a rare glimpse into her relationship. The singer married the Oscar winner last summer and said she wanted to avoid any special attention on her big day. Ora, 32, began dating 47-year-old Waititi in 2021 after she went to Australia to work as a coach on reality show The Voice and say they were hesitant at first to take their long-term friendship to the next level for fear of ruining it. Speaking to Glamour UK, the singer-songwriter shared details of the proposal, saying, there was no real getting down on one knee. It was more like, I want to marry you. Let's just do it. The masked singer panelist also revealed how their wedding had been planned in two to three days and her desire to keep the ceremony private her life and career aren't. Some women like to feel that real special attention that day. And everyone's different. And for me, I think with my job, it is all. It's very attention-driven, I wanted to keep it private because my life and my career aren't," she added. New Zealand-born Waititi has two daughters from a previous marriage, Maitwa and Tay, and it was important for Aura they be there. We just figured it out and we did it. And it was perfect, she told Glamour UK. Don't miss! Met Gala 2023 Best Dressed, Kim Kardashian, Rita Ora and Kate Moss, Latest, Rita Ora confirms marriage as she unveils ring on Tonight Show, Latest, Rita Ora confirms she married Taika Waititi in perfect ceremony, Latest, the couple are known for making appearances together at high-profile events, where they often produce viral moments through their behavior. We vibe off each other, Ora said. Her husband directed the video for her new single, Praising You, which she performed live for the first time at the 2023 Eurovision Song Contest on Tuesday. During the performance, she was joined by a 12-year-old Ukrainian dancer forced to flee the Russian invasion. Aura's third studio album You and I, is set for release on July 14. You can read her full interview with Glamour online now.